Hey guys, Redpen Running here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. All right, I got a fun one for you guys. I'm gonna start a new segment called Which Crypto Miner Would You Rather Buy? So what if I told you if both of these crypto miners, well specifically Bitcoin miners, are both $600 in value that you could buy right now. But one of these machines has 10 times or about 11, 12 times more hash rate than the other so there's a lot more that i want to compare in this video hopefully you guys enjoy i thought this would be a fun idea to do because right now as of recording both of these units i have an s19 k pro 115 terahash model and then i have a nerd oct axe that does about 9.6 to i've overclocked it to about 10 terahash before so I'm just gonna say 10 terahash. So thank you to ASL Miner for sending me this S19K Pro to showcase for you guys. I currently have it mining and it's <laughs> surprisingly very quiet. I did notice there is a new 2025 Bitmain firmware on this thing and there is also a high power mode, but I have this oct axe here and so let's begin just comparing these two because they're both the same price right now on asl miner's site this s19k pro 115 terahash model with shipping is about 600 bucks and then the same thing this oct axe is about 600 bucks that i've seen from other retailers as well with shipping so which one would you guys rather buy an s19k pro or an Octax. So here's the differences. An S19K Pro here mines Bitcoin or any SHA-256 algorithm at 115 terahash. But this thing uses 2,765 watts right now, which I currently have this solo mining Bitcoin on ckpool.org. Then I have the Octax here, which does about, what, 9.6, 9.7 terahash at about 215 watts. So you guys can see the two power differences here on these two units. They're both the same price, but you can see the S19K Pro uses a lot more power than an oct axe. So really the true key difference between these two miners is the hash rate and also the power consumption. So the S19K Pro, we are getting pretty much, I'd say 11 to 12 times more hash rate than the oct axe. So if we were to consider profitability wise for those that care about that, we'll talk about solo mining here in a second. So an S19K Pro 115 terahash model at my seven cents electric roughly, I'm only profiting about 10 cents right now on this miner, 17 to 10 cents. If I had free power, it'd be $4.65 right now. And in terms of the Bitcoin yield, I would be earning about uh, 4,947 Satoshis a day on an S19K Pro. But what about an Octax here? Okay, well, this Octax at my seven-ish cents, I'd be earning about 12 cents a day profit, okay? But if I had free power or solar, this 215 watt miner, I would be earning a revenue of about 40 cents a day or 404 Satoshis a day mining bitcoin so you can see the efficiency numbers here i mean the octax really under 300 watts it truly doesn't matter if you're lottery mining solo mining bitcoin but once you get into the bigger numbers more wattage your cost per kilowatt hour is truly gonna matter but anyways this octax that i have right now i'm using about yeah 211 watts getting about 10 terahash that's an efficiency of 21.1 and this s19k pro that i have i'm getting about 24 watt per hash right now but again they're the same price so here's one of the biggest differences between these miners not only is it in you know hash rate power consumption but also in dollar per terahash this is actually really important for some people so for 600 bucks we're spending 60 dollars per terahash for the oct axe but on the s19k pro for 600 bucks we're actually spending five dollars per terahash simply because we're getting you know 10, 11, 12 times more hash rate than the Octa. So in terms of dollar per hash, the S19K Pro is much better. But then you're gonna say, Red Panda, wait a second. Sure, the S19K Pro can mine a lot more Bitcoin, but you're gonna be spending a lot more in power. And yes, exactly. So that's one of the comparisons. I'd say for anyone that has, you know, cheaper power, maybe two cents, three cents, four cents, they're probably gonna be looking at these types of miners because they have much cheaper electricity. Also, other factors considering, you gotta have, you know, the power infrastructure run, okay? You gotta have PDUs, you gotta have 
you know, these types of outlets, you know, 240 volt. Majority of home miners probably will not be getting into these types of miners because they're one, also too loud, okay? The power requirement is much more. You're also gonna need to figure out, you know, extracting the heat because this thing is producing a lot of heat, okay? So just like one of my setups here in my basement, in my garage here, I have an exhaust fan. I got a lot of big miners. I have my power infrastructure here. You know, I'm set up for it. I made this setup so that I could mine with bigger boy ASIC miners so that I can generate an income. I run this all like a business. So all those factors aside, right? Not very many people can run these types of miners like this at home. Then the next option is probably gonna be these types of miners because this Nerd Octax, for instance, so for $600, you get a much you know, lower power device, 214 watts. And then the hash rate it achieves is only, you know, under 10 terahash. And it's obviously a lot quieter. What you're hearing right now probably is the S19K Pro. It's it's very loud or it's getting louder. But yeah, these types of miners, this Octax is in comparison to an S19K Pro, really truly is two different classes, but it's just funny to see right now the pricing of these two very different types of Bitcoin miners, but they're the exact same price. So personally, I'll give you my opinion here. In my financial situation, in my you know infrastructure setup, my cheaper power kind of, even though I'm breaking even on this S19K Pro, I would rather go this route in my situation. If you were someone maybe who has free power, someone who has solar, someone is maybe just getting into crypto mining. They obviously don't have the power infrastructure to run these types of miners. They also have to worry about how loud it is. They can't exhaust the heat. Then, then someone is gonna be looking into something like this, like an Octax or Bitax or Avalon Nano 3 or something like that. This as well, you know, these are meant for a lot of like hobby home miners realistically because they don't take that much power. You're probably solo mining with this. You're not you're not pool mining with this Octax because you're really not generating, you know, that much Bitcoin and, you know, smaller footprint as well, right? Density is a as a whole another factor. This takes up more room. And yeah, this, you know, this Octax you can place anywhere because it has Wi-Fi and that kind of stuff. So, anyways, guys, yeah, I thought I would do a video just comparing two crypto miners such as these, which are Bitcoin miners, but they're the same price uh, considering shipping and all that as well. So let me know down below, which one do you guys prefer? And let me know down in the comments and I will give away 24 hour solo hash rate from this S19K Pro. Just comment down below your guys' thoughts about today. Again, which one would you rather buy? This or that. Anyways, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. If you guys are interested in any of these types of miners, I'll have a link down below to ASLminer.com. Hit that like button. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.